Um, hi, this is Jay Larson with Innovation Matters with the Idaho Technology Council. We're here today to talk about the Idaho Innovation Awards. And we have uh, two attorneys from Stoll Reeves who are partners there, who are actually have raised the bar on innovation in Idaho because of the work they do. So, and that is no joke. But anyway, the, uh, and then I want to just do a quick quote. There's this uh, creativity is thinking up new things. Innovation is doing new things. And I think that's what the Idaho Innovation Awards focuses on doing new things with innovation. So uh, welcome, Brian Larson and Nicholas Taylor. Glad you great, guys are here. great to be here. It's great to be here, Jay. Can, can I start the billing clock now or? <laughs> yeah. Please do. Please okay. I, I, start, I started an hour ago, but you go ahead. <laughs> I, what, I, what I'm hoping is you can do it in reverse increments. So <laughs> that works. All I right. Just round up. Yeah, round, round up. I like it. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Nick, tell yes. us about the Idaho Innovation Awards. Yes, sir. Will do. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, maybe you're new in town. There's a few of you out there. Uh, the Idaho Innovation Awards are Idaho's version of the Oscars, the Emmys, the Grammys, and the Tonys all rolled into one, but with less makeup and better jokes. So basically, we take a chance once a year to meet together, hopefully this year, right, yep. um, and celebrate innovation in Idaho. Um, as you all out there probably well know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of wonderful things throughout the year, and we usually as people don't like to brag about them. We like to do them, work hard, go home to our families, and uh, you know, don't take the time to sort of celebrate uh, the work that we're doing. And so the Innovation Awards are an opportunity once a year to shine a spotlight across the state on the companies and the people who are doing uh, wonderful things in the, in the area of innovation, whether they be consumer products, research and development, uh, business strategies, what have you. It's a really fun opportunity to uh, celebrate people, um, celebrate innovation and this uh, culture of innovation in Idaho. Oh, I love it. So just as a side note, you guys, uh, I was just talking to Brad Wiskirchen, uh, you know, C who is, was a CEO account now is uh, uh, with Equifax, uh, uh, Count and Equifax company. He was just talking about how Count has received many major awards internationally and nationally based upon fraud protection and, the, and, and what they do. And he said one of their, one of the greatest uh, compliments or awards they've won was through the Idaho Innovation Awards. They won the most innovative company of the year, the innovative of the year, the innovative product. Um, they're an, it's an amazing company what Count is, but they look at the Idaho Innovation Awards and the ones that they've won and they hold those in high esteem. So yeah, I won't I won't name names here on this recorded podcast or Zoom call, but there's a particular company in town that has been very successful, and still to this day, uh, I'll hear once in a while that they they remind us that they didn't win as many innovation awards as they wanted to win before they had their successful exit. So I take that as a as a huge compliment that it really matters to people mm -hmm. to be a, to be recognized by the innovation awards. So thank, thanks for that, Nick. Brian, how many years has the Idaho Innovation Awards been in existence? I believe this is this is 16 years, um, give or take a year. I'm not sure exactly how we count last year, um, <laughs> but but it, it has it's, it's been about that many, and and it's changed over time. Uh, it's grown over time. You have a, a lot better monologue now than you had in the beginning, uh, hands down. Um, I've lost a little bit of hair over that time. Nick's gained a little bit of hair over that time. So it, it, it's, it's done really well for, for all of us, but it's, it's been exciting to watch it over the last 15, 16 years uh, since, its, uh, since its beginning. And I think one of the things I, I like about the Idaho Innovation Awards the most is that we really do, you know, throughout Idaho, I think we all know we, we kind of have three sectors throughout Idaho. We got a lot of big mountains and a lot of farming in between kind of the three main um, areas throughout Idaho. And, and we, it's, it's a one time a year that we all try to get together and, and look at innovation statewide, uh, north, east and, and west, and, and really celebrate together what everybody's doing and across all sectors. Innovation and the Innovation Awards is not just technology, it's nonprofits, it's government sector. 
it, it's everything under the sun uh, that we can talk about that is innovative within within our state and and we're able to celebrate it all all together like Nick says hopefully this year all together that's good I I, uh, I heard did you say uh, sectors or sex sexters I didn't know what you said Se but... Jay it, it's zoom we can probably <laughs> write it at the bottom for you <laughs> all right I sectors okay I, and you, you know this how many what are the four sectors the uh, the awards come into Brian so we've got we've got actually five categories this year okay we've got commercialized innovation uh, of the year we've got innovator of the year early stage innovation of the year commercialized innovation of the year and consumer product of the year and uh if you're listening to this on the podcast and, and trying to keep track of all of those uh, don't worry about it too much uh, because we are changing uh, our application process a little bit this year and and nick and i uh, we're just looking for applicants and we will uh, apply everything into the right category as, as we look at it and talk to people and talk to companies. So we're not asking companies to kind of position them or pigeonhole them on themselves. We'll, we'll pigeonhole you for yourself. We'll, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll, put, you, we'll put you in a pigeonhole. So how do you go about, nom how do you go about nominating a company? Well, we're doing things a bit different this year. Like Brian said, our goal is to get as many nominations as possible. So uh, from as diverse a candidates as possible. So this year we have a website. I think we can throw it up in the chat or send out a link or something like that. But we have a website and all you need is literally a name and a phone number or email. So as long as you have the name of somebody or something you want to nominate, and a phone number or an email somehow for somebody at Stoll Reeves to get a hold of you uh, on the committee here to get a hold of you so we can talk about what your nomination is and the supporting materials for that nomination. We'll gather all that for you. Uh, uh, we just need a little bit of information to be able to discern the nomination and then contact you and we'll take care of it from there. And so their op the nominations are open now and they're open until uh, June 30th. So you have some time here to get them in, but we encourage everyone who has a potential nominee, whether that be a person or a company or a product to, to submit their nominations online. I just had uh, uh, HP uh, contact me last week and they have about two or three nominations they're putting in. So they are about the process uh, of how to do that. So. Um, and that, uh, why don't you just, uh, Nick, why don't you talk about what, what's, what's the website or where should you direct them? What, uh, what's the address? Uh, it starts with www. I know that part. Is, is Jay asking us to be IT savvy? Yeah, yeah. 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 Let me open up my other monitor here. <laughs> I see the lights. You see the lights flash on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he just got off Twitter, Jay, and now he's paying attention to you. Uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Let me see. No, uh, you know, Jay. One of the reasons and we talk about this while while Nick's looking it up. One of the reasons we we changed the nomination process is uh, what we felt was happening a little bit is it was a little hard for people to nominate other companies or people they knew uh, because we were asking for quite a bit of information and and uh, a lot of background information. And so, what we want to do, just like Nick says, is we want to get as many nominations as possible. Right. And then we'll reach out to the innovator or the company and say, you've been nominated by so-and-so and we'll get the information from them. So that allows you to, Jay, to nominate 20 people without doing a whole bunch of, of background work. We'll take that on ourselves to reach out to the individual companies and gain the information we so need. You, so I'll, nom we'll I'll not nominate somebody and then you kind of do the legwork to be able to make sure yeah. all appropriate information put in. And I got the website. It was it took me a lot of work here. So it's it's www.dogecoin.com. <laughs> okay. So, no. Going there right now. <laughs> All right. Check it out. No, it's um you you'll never you never you never guess it. It's idahoinnovationawards.com. Good. idahoinnovationawards.com. Yeah. And if you need to know how to spell innovation, just ask uh just email me. Don't ask Brian. He won't know. Yeah, I'm a terrible speller. Well, you know, um, you both are very accomplished at what you do. So I'm, I'm sure you should uh, probably spell innovation. But I'm going to say, 
the, the one thing that's going to go on here, and I think this is the big part, is that in order for, the reason this is so important is because in order for Idaho to have an exceptional economy, it has to have innovative people that are doing some extraordinary things, right? And that's what this recognizes. And it seems to me, you guys tell me if this is true. It seems like when this was about like maybe 16 years ago, like you were saying, Brian, when it started, wouldn't you say that Idaho has, we have more innovation in our state and it comes, you know, north and south and east, it goes all over the state. Don't you, we're, we're having more success with innovative things happening in Idaho, right? I, I would agree. I, I mean, I think even 15, even 10 years ago, like Nick said, uh, we would get uh, we'd get a whole bunch of nominations, but we'd get five or six or seven main companies that would apply each year. And over the last three to four years, we've gotten companies all across Idaho. And every year it happens as we're sitting around as committees that we're saying, wow, that is the coolest company. And we knew nothing about them. That, that everybody sitting on that committee is saying, I, I haven't even heard of them, don't know what they do, but man, isn't that a cool piece of technology or, or didn't know their story as an innovator of the year. And, and I do think, I mean, Idaho is obviously growing uh, in the east and the west and up north, and, and we are getting a lot more innovative uh, companies and, and people moving here. But it really is growing, and it's a lot of fun to to sit back and talk about them in our committees, and and talk to the companies and learn a lot about them. And then it's great to share that with the eight to nine hundred people that are in the room with us. You have anything to add? That's good, Brian. Anything to add to that, Nick? No, I, I just think, like I said a little bit earlier, um, I really do feel like the the sort of um, default operating mode of entrepreneurs in Idaho is to stay under the radar and work hard on their company and take care of their people. And so we're just not, we don't normally, you know, sort of celebrate ourselves. And so once you start asking a couple questions about what people are working on, what they're doing, what success they've had, you just start getting blown away by uh, how much stuff goes on and what that you don't, didn't know about. And then once we all get in a room and sort of, you know, start handing out trophies, everyone is sort of, um, I always leave the innovation awards thinking, you know, man, I can't wait to work on with Idaho companies again. You know, I can't, and it just it always rejuvenates my sort of enthusiasm for being part of this, um, this industry. Nick, I tell you that I've heard that from several people about that, how it, they, they leave uh, refreshed, re-energized, re- reinvigorated, you know, because they're seeing so many amazing things. In fact, most of them say they didn't realize these many cool things were taking place in Idaho. So um, what exactly. were, uh, so this one, uh, the, the uh, Idaho Technology Council Hall of Fame, we have, we have, uh, we've almost got ready, we're going to be making an announcement shortly about those two people that are going to be inducted this year, um, probably around the same time. What was the date again, Nick, when you said that uh, it, it, we had to get the um, nominations in? So nominations are open until June 30th. Yeah. Okay, it's June 30th, and then uh, we'll be announcing the um the two inductees in the Hall of Fame around the same time. And then people get those in and the actual um, Hall of Fame and Idaho Innovation Awards will be taking place on October 14th. So, uh, and we're planning, like you said, we're planning to do this live at the Boise, um, at the Boise Center. So yep. put that on the calendar, October 14th. So anything else to add, gentlemen? Um, do you have the guest? Is it so? One year, Steve Young was a guest presenter, yeah. right? I I don't know if you remembered him. He gave a I great think, speech. He gave a great. I think there was. I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was something about how we were the two funniest lawyers he's ever met. Um, Maybe it's even people he's ever met. It might have even been people. Was it? It could have I, been. I think what we'll do is we'll get the uh, we'll get the. Um, uh, I think we have the tape. We'll go back. Run the t- run the tape for us. Yeah, run the tape. Back. All right. Did I, I told. Did I tell you? I told my brother like that night. I texted my brother. I was like, "Dude, Steve Young just said I was funny," and my brother texted me back and goes, "It's not like he's Joe Montana." And <laughs> I just, well, well, I really well, regretted not having the opportunity to get back up on the stage to say that to Steve Young's face. <laughs> not that I'm a Steve Young hater, but just to see what kind of reaction that would get. Yeah, actually, well. <laughs> Well, it wasn't it uh, you, Brian, that said that before we asked to get Steve Young as our keynote, that we actually were told no by who was it that said no to it? It was, it was Kellen Moore, of course, said yeah, no to yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the president of Idaho. 
He's yeah, saying right. no to a lot of jobs these days. He is. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of truth to that. But, um, well, that's good, guys. I see this is, see what people come to the Idaho Innovation Awards, the Hall of Fame on October 14th. Make nominations because then you're going to be able to see Nick and Brian do their presentation, which is absolutely yes. fantastic. So. Yeah, absolutely. And we will, we will find a joke or two about Jay. We, we haven't Jay, we haven't expended all of them yet. Don't yeah. sell yourself short. I mean, you make you have a pretty good entertainment little thing your, yourself that you do there. I mean, I yeah. we enjoy it. Yeah. Well, thanks. We, and and collectively, we do some fun things, don't we? Yeah, we, we well, do a lot we of fun add things. Carolyn Holly to the mix, like it things get things get rocking. That they get rocking and rolling. It will be great. And so, October fourteenth, get your nominations in by the end of June, and we'll be ready, to rock and roll, and. Uh, Okay, guys, thanks so much, uh, Brian and Nick, for joining us. Uh, Stoll Reeves, attorneys that do amazing things. And um, again, I'm going to go back to the quote, creativity is thinking of new things. Innovation is doing new things. So that's what the Idaho Innovation Awards is about, is doing new things and uh, recognizing those things. So uh, next week, we will have Dan DeClos on, where he's going to talk about uh, PlexTrack and the amazing things that are taking place with his company. Um, and thanks for joining us today because in Idaho, innovation matters. Have a great day.